show you how easy it is to use liberty right um, so like what is liberty liberty is a very lightweight uh, java server uh, which is cloud native cloud ready uh, server which can be ported it can run in your local containers uh, or docker containers sorry and you can run it on your local system and you can run it wherever you want actually so it's kind of a very easy very lightweight very dynamic you can deploy the application um, on the fly and it will be picked up any config change any feature that you want to add to the server you can add it in the runtime so it offers so many features right and also it's kind of a continuous delivery supports and it does support your devop uh, operations uh, in, in cloud native uh, and it is secured and uh, what not i mean you you ask for anything you want and latest java it supports and latest java uh, the jte spec it supports so if you want to go with the server which offers all the feature right and it is it is lightning fast and uses very less footprint i mean like uh, we would recommend uh, people to migrate to liberty and also we give all the tools and uh, um, uh, features that's in traditional was so uh, people can easily migrate from traditional was to liberty and it's all on the console you can scan your application and see if it is liberty ready and what needs to be changed everything we do offer in the traditional was console itself and if you further need any help and uh, feel free to reach us to the support so we are here to help you guys out and watch you uh, walk you through how you can migrate successfully to the liberty you can also work with your uh, uh, account team sales team how this can be achieved and we also talked about uh, what is the best practice right in liberty always use get use close that's uh, what we have been telling all the time that do not leak your connection or if you start leaking the connections and you may see hundreds you may see request will be in varying and performance issue uh, you may be see a lot of issues like if you don't follow the standard simple get use close feature and use one thread one connection basis and uh, set your max connection as needed set your minimum connection to zero all the time uh, unused set the value less than your firewall timeout value age timeout set to minus 1 which is recommended we also talked about setting the query timeout because we often see query takes long time uh, they don't anticipate query to run for that long 90 seconds to 1 minute whatever so you can kill that query right you don't want the query to run indefinite because we don't control that with the property it will be running forever and if you prefer to do timeout the query set the sync Uh, sync up with the transaction timeout query also so that it won't kill your transaction while running and also we followed up with the uh, console how you can monitor the liberty servers as you mentioned in in traditional was we have a pmi uh, which will offer all these features but uh, in liberty you have to use the external jmx tools uh like uh, j console or you may come up with any other tool we do honor and we give all the m beans available for you to grab and uh, uh, use it actually so and um that, that's what pretty much we have seen today and if you are interested and if you want to see anything specific uh, on the liberty or on the j2c itself right in more advanced things or you want to see anything different then please post your comments in the chat and uh, we will try to answer all the questions and we will try to come up with a new session that you would like to see and uh, with that um, i would like to conclude and end this session thanks everyone again for joining uh, today's live tv session and hope to see you all soon again in in, in next session thank you one thing yeah. that we one thing we could do is uh I did just uh reset the server real quick and I do have that working if we want to switch back just temporarily